One of my little friends whom I work with came to us this year for the first time and he's battled leukemia and he also has Down syndrome and he's just gotten really far behind. He showed up not knowing a lot of things. Blue and blue. Awesome. See, with your words, you can make a million sentences. Okay. And so we've been working with him since the beginning of school and uh, we're pretty excited about it because he's learning how to read and he's learning to do math. And these are all things that he's just missed because of his health struggles that he's had. I think he loves being at school because he has friends and he's, he's very well loved by his classmates who encourage him. They are huge cheerleaders and they'll say, Nick, that's great, good job. And they, they love to see him be successful with things. And they, they're very proud of him, just like we are, and just like he is, that he is learning these things because he's just never had the opportunity to do it before. The Immaculata Method is seeing each child as an individual in the image of God and realizing that this child is important and this child can learn and can do things and to work at a pace that matches the child's skills and abilities. The Immaculata Method didn't start as a method. We were just doing what we knew to be a good thing. And over time, we, we realized this, this is a system. This is a system that we're creating here. What our inclusiveness looks like is the students that are incorporated into our school with special needs spend as much time as possible in the classroom with their peers, um, doing all the things that they are doing with modifications, accommodations, whatever it is that they need in order to be in the classroom. Some of the students who maybe have Down syndrome and are struggling in math, they may come to the resource room for math class and there might be two or three different children in there working on either three different things or maybe they're all working on the same thing. The beauty is we can tailor things to what the students need. So we have how many up from this time? Yeah, One, good job! Two, right? Up from the dime. Yeah. The this one's the dime. Two lines up. Good job, Stephanie. Go, woo, you rock. You do, you do rock. Here you go, let's try this one. Stephanie was in an environment that was just for children with special needs, and she started to regress. We wanted all children to be at the same place. Um, and several schools would accept Charles and Chad, but they wouldn't accept Stephanie. We want it to be a school for the whole family. We have a very pro-life message that all children and all people have value. I think the way that the school goes about that mission is really beautiful because it makes the children who have different abilities and the children who have what you might call typical abilities, it brings them together in an environment where they can truly be brothers. This year, Stephanie has done amazing. Her confidence is up. She's starting to use her vocabulary a lot more. She's excited to go to school, which that's never happened before. <laughs> I just see her growing up and maturing more than why, ever. Why do you think that is? Because she's included. If you have an inclusive school where there's typical children and special needs children, free flowing throughout the school in every activity and every part of the day. Disabilities become invisible to the children and they become accepting of all different types of people without even knowing it. It just becomes the fabric of how they live. I think the inclusive is a win-win situation for everybody, for the child with the special needs and then even for children that don't have special needs, they learn compassion and learn how to you know, care for people that are different from themselves. I hope and I know that it's going to be a, r a real light to the community and a beautiful example for other families and for other communities and other schools to follow. So I'm, I'm so glad to say a word of support that way. 
uh, because it's something that I've, I've really fallen in love with myself. I love Immaculata because they gave my child a chance. And a lot of times when you have children with special needs, they just want to hear what the label is and they will shut the door before they actually give you an opportunity or give that child an opportunity to see what they're capable of. But they gave my child, Stephanie, a chance to see what she's capable of and she's surpassing the goals.